Hey there, it's Lara, the founder of Voxsafe Studios, and today I will be reacting to Reba McIntyre singing the national anthem at this year's Super Bowl, or as we like to call it, Usher's Concert, because <laughs> that's what I care about. But anyways, uh, I would say let's dig right in. I have no idea what to expect. I'm really excited to hear Reba sing the song. I have no idea like how they choose who sings all these different, like who does the halftime show, who does the, um, the, the anthem, and there's another song or two that people sing as well. So I'm curious to see, but I'm, I'm excited to hear Reba's version. Shall we go for it? I would say let's do it. To honor America and perform our national anthem, Unthought. entertainment icon Reba McIntyre. That is a very dramatic voice. I like it. I like me a good low male voice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Reba, before you sing, I need to say something. <laughs> We're never gonna get through this in one piece. But anyways, um, it's interesting to me how usually the national anthem is sung a cappella, meaning no music, right? But at the Super Bowl, they always do it with music, which I don't know why, it's just an ob observation, I like it. Oh, say, that is so low. Oh, say, can you see? I think she was sharp on that note. Let's listen again. A little sharp, a little too high, not quite low enough, but it's super low. Low. Hold on. What's so proud? Do you hear she's singing proudly? I've never heard anyone do that. What's so proud? It was really weird, but it sounded cool. I like it. I've never heard anyone do that. And I like it when people do something different and not always the same thing. What's so proudly we That's cool. At the twilight's last blue. Man. Then she got stripes. Stripes was low enough. That was good. Through the pale. She's the same on ramparts, like as she did on proudly. Wow. Hold on, we gotta listen to rockets again. Do you hear how she's singing ra and the ra and not and the ra? Hear the, hear the difference? And the rocket's red glare Rather than And the rocket's red It's just a different placement um, Not better or worse Just different And I like it Let's do it Listen here And the rocket's red glare But she's opening up on glare Glare And not glare Right? And the rocket's red glare. No. And the rocket's red glare. She is opening it up on glare because you have to, otherwise, like, you're going flat on that top note. Two different placements in the same phrase. Let's go, Reba. Ooh, I like that. Belt into the flip, like into that little eh, crack there. So cool. That was so cool. Mm. Oh, the sphere. That thing is super cool. Free. 
nailed that last note though. The brave. That was good. Let's listen to the last, last note again. Here. There, the last note was great. The the was a little flat. The the was a little flat, but that brave was all the way up there. That sounded good. I wonder how old she is, but that was really nice. That was really nice, Miss Reba. Look at her, so happy, so smiley. Um, a couple notes, you know, like uh, the, the, that one, the, just needed to be a little bit higher. That was a little bit flat, but again, like, when we are singing live, it's impossible to sing every single note perfectly on pitch. You are going to be off here and there. That's just human. Okay. That is totally normal. Overall, I think she did a really great job. She made it her own. She like, it didn't sound like she felt pressure to do something crazy with the arrangement. Um, like, you know, like hit some crazy high belt notes or riff some in crazy, like some insane riff. <laughs> Like, no, she made it her own. And I really, really, really enjoyed that because we don't always need to overcomplicate things. I think she did a fantastic job. She stayed true to herself. She sounded great. Uh, it was super low. It was, it's a really low version of the national anthem, but that shows you how important it is to adjust the key of a song to make it fit your voice, right? Somebody else, like if, I don't know, let's pick a soprano, like, um, Ariana Grande, right? If Ariana Grande were to sing the song, she would never sing it in this key, ever. But that's the cool thing about the different voices. We can all make the same songs sound great. We just need to adjust them slightly to make them fit our voice. And I really uh, enjoy what Reba did here. It was incredibly low. Uh, and some of those low notes were just a little sharp, meaning a little bit too high, not quite low enough, um, but she did hit it a couple times and it sounded really, really great. So overall, I would say this was a really great performance and she looks beautiful and was just so smiley and happy. And to me, that's half of the performance, right? Like if you stand up there looking like you're about to sh your pants because you're so scared, uh, then you know your audience is not gonna have as much fun. But if you look like this, if you look like you're having the time of your life, automatically your audience is gonna enjoy your performance a whole lot more. So overall, I think that was great. I don't like, I don't hear her sing much. Like I am not super familiar with her work, but I think that was really, really, really great. I'm gonna go have to listen to some Reba now. I love it. If you haven't yet seen my reaction to Usher's Super Bowl halftime show performance, click right here somewhere. And if you have, and you wanna see another one, check out my reaction to Post Malone, because guess what? He sang at the Super Bowl as well. I'll see you there.